Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. <clears throat> We're friends. Nothing's necessary. Well, I wanted to say it anyway. You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. Cursing doesn't offend me, you know. I didn't think it did. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. And he's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. The last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who named his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security codes. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech Research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing. <coughs> no one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Wait there. Okay. Just give me a shout when you... Here you go, McCready. Holy crap, you actually did it! You just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. All I care about is curing your son. I know you do. I'm just getting tired of taking instead of giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. Hey, Daisy. McGrady. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been avoiding me, have you? No. How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just put a speak. And I will So. I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Well, I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through MedTech. Now, all I need to do is get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCree. You saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, then that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Hey. What do you want here? I should help keep you alive. Yeah, a moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updated. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. 
Do you think the Mechanist knows we're tampering with the Beacon? I've already added failsafes to ensure my location is secure, and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the Mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another Robobrain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. And this is important because... I will explain. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. Let's do it. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your pip boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. The rust of Nathan for it. Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar? Mm. That's mm. my county. I could definitely use the help. I thought you. Now, in mm -hmm. one oh. and. How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. Sure. But we have that out of the way. Do we have a deal? Deal. Oh, why? Right. Once we're at our destiny. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Meta? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The Robobrain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, 
to follow orders without question. The RoboBrain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality mode? What do you mean? Most robots have a personality mode select available to them for their creator to utilize. Turn it on, and we're designed to talk and act more like a human. Turn it off, and we're no better than a mindless automaton. Jackson said he didn't think of me as a servitor robot. He treated me more like a friend. So he permanently set my personality mode to on. He said I should never lose my identity. I suppose I'm starting to think he was wrong. You shouldn't think that way. Your personality helps you think creatively. I always considered my personality to be a burden, but I suppose I've been looking at it incorrectly. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You're... You're right. I'm... Isabel. Cruz. The Mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and... I still failed. How does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? You think I'm the enemy here? I may have busted up your robots, but they're just machines, and they're killing real people out there. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors, all dead at the hands of your robots. Only people that threaten the safety of the Commonwealth, they'd never harm an innocent person. The robots are programmed to protect. Their subroutines are clean. Observe, evaluate, and react accordingly. The testing was thorough. I ran every scenario, all past. How can you not know what they're doing? You must have some way of watching them. My bots have never violated their protocol. Their data dumps only show the elimination of hostile encounters. They're misinterpreting orders. Your own robo-brain said as much. They're saving people by killing them. No. I, I don't believe you. They can't alter their programming. They're programmed to save people, not kill them. Are you listening to me? They are saving people by killing them. A deadly misinterpretation. I, I am listening. I'm just processing. So many precautions and safeguards. And the data. They were always reporting hostiles killed and, and lives... Oh, saved. No, it's... The logic. Oh, it's there. I can see it now. 
I was hoping it was the Robo Brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. Their primary directive was flawed. Now you know the truth. Your robots are dangerous. They had to be stopped. The hero unknowingly became the villain. I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done, or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. Tell me, why the mask? What's with the Mechanist? I'm not good with people. The Mechanist gave me a way to put myself out there without really being out there at all. But you're kind of keeping me in suspense here. I can turn this around. I, I just need a chance. I'm not here to kill you. Only to get you and your robots to stand down. Done. Consider it done. And you won't regret this. I promise. None of the Commonwealth will. Here, take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just... I'd rather this place be in your hands now. No power. Hey. Now your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. Would you be disappointed to hear that I let her live? I do have conflicting outlooks if that is the case. But I trust your judgment. If she lives, she does so with the guilt of what she's done. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the Mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? She was fooled by her own logic. She really thought she was saving people. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the Mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the Mechanist robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. As a result, I have decided to stay here. I know some of the Mechanist robots still roam the Commonwealth. Perhaps there is still much left for me to accomplish. Hey. What can I do for you? Excuse me. Hey, just one more thing. If you have a minute. What's up? Just a quick thing. I just wanted to say... I'm really happy, thankful, that you let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. It's the mechanist suit I made. You really don't want it anymore. No. It's part of a past I don't want to dwell on. It's time I move on. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. There are still robots out there. Lots of them. 
my communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. Seriously? How many robots are out there? Quite a few. <laughs> there's a lot of ground to cover on the Commonwealth, so there's kind of a whole bunch out there. Sure. Great. I'm not picking up a signal from any of my bots right now, but that doesn't necessarily mean we found them all. Is someone in there? Let me out! Who are you? My name is Billy. Please. I've been trapped in here for so long. How did you end up in there? I hid in here to get away from the bomb. But there isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs were over 200 years ago. You're that old? I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. Please, I don't want to die in here. Why should I trust you? I'm really tired and lonely. Can you just... You still there? Let me out! Who are you? My name is Billy. Please, I've been trapped... Let me open the door for you. Yes, it's been so long. The door is stuck. You're gonna have to shoot it off. Legs are so stiff. Every whoa, it's nighttime and it's still kind of bright. It was always pitch black in the fridge. Hey, Billy. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, what's the story with you in that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out, but there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me, please? Where did you live? Twinsy, but I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. I just want to find out what happened to my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. Hey there. Yeah? You there, in the house. I want those ghouls, especially that kid. You can give them a peaceful life. Or die trying to save him. What does he want me? Oh my god, they want Billy! They won't take us, Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. 
The house is empty. Looks like they left in a hurry. God damn it! All right, boys, we're heading south. Double time! Shh! Everybody be quiet. Hey. Thank you for bringing us back our little boy. And saving us from that man. So, how did you end up as ghouls? We didn't make it to the shelter in time. The door was shutting as the bombs fell. We both must have taken a lot of radiation. I guess we were some of the lucky ones. Most folks die instead of becoming ghouls. Must be something in both our genes. So that's why you guys look like me. Yeah, Billy. That's why. <laughs> Although it's really more why you look like us. We wandered for a while, but eventually came back here. We've been living here ever since. Not really anywhere else to go. Let me thank you. Take this. Yes. <laughs> 